And I started this new venture, uh, the antithesis of math. Okay? I started with great, great, great enthusiasm. Those of you who know me know I'm pretty good at starting. I attacked it, right? And I, uh, I attacked this, this real estate career a lot like a five-year-old getting his first bicycle for Christmas. My enthusiasm was through the roof. Uh, did I know what I was doing? No, that was somewhere down here. Now imagine that five-year-old getting on that bicycle and riding like three feet. Yeah falling over, skinning their knee, and then they're thinking, I don't know about this whole bike ride. This is a lot harder than I've, than I've seen, right? So my, my, my enthusiasm <coughs> dropped a little bit. My knowledge did go up a little bit. You can get hurt doing this, right? And so I was I was doing this for about maybe a month or two. I'd sold one or two houses, but I was not having the success that I had envisioned, right? And I saw this big dream in my mind. And so I, I decided to write a check and get a mentor. One of the things we talked about was, you know, you're a full commission now, Mike. So we've got to talk about goals. Have you written down any goals? Yeah, oh yeah, I got goals. What are your goals? I'm going to sell a lot of houses. Well, how much money do you want to make this year? Well, I don't want to put any limits on that, right? Yeah. I want to make as much money as I can. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's not a goal. Now, most of us in here are familiar with, with setting goals. So let's talk about some goals. Let's talk about like, how much money are you going to make? I don't remember the actual numbers because this was some years ago. So I'm going to pull some numbers out of the air, air easy, easy numbers. So let's say I said, okay, well, I, I, you know, I know how long my dad works. I know I'm just getting started, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to say I want to, I want to make 50K this year. And they say, he says, well, as your mentor, I'm going to tell you that's unreasonable. You're back now and blah, blah, blah. Or I say, yeah, you know, that's, that's a reasonable goal. But... So let's say this is the goal. He said, okay, this is your goal. Let's work backwards. Let's plan that goal. So have you sold any houses yet? Yep, I sold, I sold a couple houses. Well, what did you make? What was your take on, on those houses based on the neighborhood, the size of the homes that you're selling in, the, the fluency of the neighborhood that you're, you're selling in? And uh, I said, well, you know, let's say I made $1,500 on, on each of those sales. So okay, let's go with that number. Now, if I hadn't sold any houses, that would have been okay. I could have gotten my losses. So well, this is the neighborhood that I'm kind of focusing on. These are the, these are the price points that I'm kind of focusing on. What's the average commission that, that, that an agent working in this, this range is going to make? Oh, my the average is going to be around 1500 Okay, so how many houses do I have to sell to make 50K if I'm making 1500 per house? Come on, somebody who's in that. Yeah, we're Come on, let's go. Okay. 30, All right, let's go 35. 33. So i got to sell 35 houses. Okay, so that's a little more than two houses a month, yes? How many houses a month do I got to sell? Almost three. Okay, I'm going to go with three houses. I got to sell three houses a month. Or 35 a month. A month. Well, and that's the thing. You know, more, people don't buy and sell houses as much in November or December, right? Um, in, in January, but in the springtime. We'll get to that later. So I got to sell about three houses a month. So now he comes to me and says, Mike, what are you doing? You're 20, 23 years old. Do you have much of a network? Do I have much of a network? Do I have a network of people buying houses? Are my friends buying houses? No. Right? So my network isn't very strong. So Mike, how are you how are you prospecting? How are you finding these, these, these sales? Well at that time I was doing a lot of cold calls. This I got a, I got a funny story. Funny story, really quickly. I was so stressed about cold calls. I was like, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want people to be hanging up on me. They're going to swear at me. Say, don't ever call me again. And I was like, oh, I was so obsessed with this. And they said, Mike, just call me. You're going to say, hi, my name is Mike Neal. Uh, I'm with Vernon Realty. I was just wondering if you folks were thinking about buying or selling a house. No? Well, thanks for taking my phone call. Good. Right? Next house. So I was so focused on just, I'm 50. I'm just going to be 50. I'm just gonna, everybody's going to swear at me. Everybody's going to hate me. I'm, I'm, but I'm doing, I'm doing I'm attacking this with gusto. I'm full of enthusiasm. So I call the 20th or 30th person, they say, yes, I'm thinking about selling a house. It never even dawned on me that somebody was going to say, yes, I froze. I absolutely froze. And I remember staring straight up at the ceiling. Good luck to you. And I went back and I said, I can't believe it. I'm such an idiot. Oh, this was the kid falling off the white skin. I had no business doing this. I should just go back to school. 
had no business doing this. I'm no good at this, right? Uh, but then I got better. I got better. I got better. And so he said, okay, well, you're getting most of your prospects from cold calling. I mean, have you, have you, have you worked this through? Have you thought about how to, how to respond to people, how to get in? How to, yes. Okay, so, Mike, if you call, how, how many calls do you have to make to get one person to say, yes, I'm thinking about selling the house? 25. If I call 25 people, I can get one person to say, yes, I'm thinking about selling the house. Well, how many of those, how many people have to say, yes, I'm thinking about selling the house? Or they will invite you into their house. And I said, I can get two out of three to say, come into my house. Right? So now I've got it. So that means i got to make 50 calls to get one appointment. Okay? So i got to make 50 calls to get one appointment. Mike, how many appointments do you need to get before you get one person to sign the contract? I said, I get one out of three. So if I get one out of three, how many calls do I need to make to get one list? 150 calls. 150 calls through one list. Now, this all sounds great, but when you're actually doing it, you don't really believe it. You know what I mean? Uh, so 150 calls. How many 150 calls? I'm going to get a list. How long will it take me to make 150 calls? Well, it would take me about eight hours. Eight hours of not eight hours, like, oh, I make a couple of calls and I go, you know, have a cup of coffee. I mean, eight hours of sitting there, dialing the phone, and, and, and uh, you know, talking to people. So, that's the idea. So now I'll plan out the work. I, I, I can make, if I can, in three hours, and call 50 people, then, you know, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever, whatever days work best for me, go make, make your phone call, right? So now, how many people have ever heard, plan your work? Work your plan. Anybody ever heard that? Well, this is where I fall. Because this sounds great. Talking to this guy, you get me feel so close to you. Yes. I'm telling you, some of those calls, people got nasty, right? Take me off your calling list. And so I take them off my calling list. And I'd have to say, when I when I went back, the thing that got me the software was it was December. And I was delivering pizza because I had made hard candy money to sell real estate. And I went to a salesman and Vernon Realty just spent a ton of money writing this new proprietary software for the agents. And they were trying to get every every agent to buy a laptop. This was back when laptops were six grand. And uh, I remember sitting in the sales meeting and he said, my sales manager said, you need to embrace technology. And that was the moment I thought, I'll embrace it. I'm going back to school to software. And so that night I'm delivering pizza to the blizzard. And I mapped out the next seven years of my life. Uh, okay, I'm going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, sell, I'm gonna cold call. I'm cold calling three days a week, the rest of this winter. And in March, I'm gonna have at least 15 leads, solid leads. And I'm gonna convert 10 of those into sales. And I'm gonna wipe out all my debt. And I'm going back to school. And I and I did it. I totally executed. <coughs> now, if I were to step back and thought, you know, I can do this. I just I just knock this out. I just execute this plan. I could. But I was so focused on going in a new direction, and being a software engineer, that I didn't look back. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad it worked out that way. But the one thing I learned is how you know you can break this down. The reason I bring this up is my son, who's an actor, wants to move to New York, and he's a very talented actor. For a 17 year old, he's pretty connected in the city. He's dad, I'm going to go to New York. That becomes an inevitable. What's your plan? I'm going to save a lot of money, and I'm going to live with Kevin, and I'm going to go out there, and I'm going to be an actor. And I, I heard me, 23 years old, <laughs> I'm going to sell a lot of houses. But when I went through this with him, 17 year old, he, he didn't want to hear it. So, my call to action plan your goals. Don't just make goals, plan your goals, and then work. Thank you.